Hi, my name is Dr. Taylor and today I'd like to talk to you today about knee pain. Knee pain can be quite debilitating, not just affecting the knee, but if you have a problem in the knee, it can affect the other knee. It can affect issues with your low back, your hip, mid back, neck, and even cause headaches. And so today I'd like to share with you what I've learned over the past 25 years in treating knee successfully. I developed my own technique that has been very beneficial and I've found to get rid of a lot of knee pain if it's not something more serious like a torn meniscus or a torn ligament. So if you have a if that is your case then a lot of times an orthopedic surgeon consult is going to be necessary and these exercises what I'm about to show you is not going to help. But if that's not the case this could be really beneficial for solving your knee problem. So uh, your knee pain when you do have it a lot of times I've discovered that the problem is coming from the muscles of the glute or the quads. So uh, these muscles up and through here and right over here often can cause knee pain. So what you can do is you can get a tennis ball and if you have pain in the outer portion of the knee, you're gonna wanna use a tennis ball over the lateral muscle of the quad. Now they call it the quadriceps because it's made of four muscles. So the first muscle you want to work is the vastus lateralis, this is outside muscle. So you get the tennis ball, and let's say I'm on the ground, I'm going to be laying down and I'm going to just be digging into that area, starting from the top here where the muscle attaches onto the bone up here, and you're going to start up at the top, and you're just going to move it around in a star-shaped pattern, a star-shaped pattern. That way you're getting all the fibers of those adhesions and you're gonna scroll down with that tennis ball and go down where it attaches onto the muscles here, the lower part of the knee, the patella, the kneecap, and down in this area. So it's important that you go from top to bottom, go full length. If you find a spot that's really tender, just hang out there a little bit longer and work that area. You'll find that that's often the offending muscle, the trigger point that's causing the pain. If you're having pain right over the kneecap, then I'll work more so on the medial muscle or the vastus uh, intermedius or the rectus femoris and just go right over the top again. Same thing, start off from the top and go all the way down to the bottom. And then if you have pain in the medial section, you're going to work that vastus medialis. Again, you're just going to work in through here and, and break that up going with the star-like pattern. In addition, what you want to do is you want to work this glute muscle in through here. Work along the top fibers, and I want you to work downwards, going down towards the bottom portion of the glute. Again, finding that area that's really tender and tight and working that area. Oftentimes, it's very beneficial. Now, when you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to do a stretch. So I just do a quad stretch like this. Uh, you can also do that same stretch over here on the bench like this getting that and stretching that, stretching where you just worked. And then if you want to, after working that glute, you can do an L stretch and just lean forward like this. Very beneficial, you'll feel it stretch. I feel it, that feels really good. So those are some great stretches that you can do and tennis ball techniques you can do to help relieve the pain that you're having in the knee. Now, if you do do that and it doesn't work, uh, there's probably something else going on that you've missed. Sometimes you can have uh, problems in the feet. You can have dropped arches. Your shoes cannot be um, fitting right or the right type of shoe or good supportive shoe. That can create problems for you. Um, one of the things that, if you tried all that and it still doesn't work, one of the things that I found very beneficial for correcting and solving knee pain is our energy pressure wave technology that we use here at the office. This almost acts like a cortisone shot, using radial and acoustic waves to break up the scar tissue. Now, I would be on, this, on the skin when I do this, but I'm just showing you for demonstration. You put on the area, and you find the areas where the adhesions are, and you, you break that up around the knee like that, and you can use also to find the trigger points using this. It does amazingly phenomenal type results, where it acts almost like a cortisone shot, knocking out knee pain sometimes in one to three visits. So uh, I hope that video, I hope this has been helpful. Um, 
If you do have knee pain, don't sit on it too long. The longer you let that uh, sit and not really fix the issue, the more compensations you can create and the more problems you can have later on. So I hope this video has been helpful. And this is Dr. Derek signing off. Hi, I'm Gary Eisner. Uh, back in 2000, had a tennis injury and had two surgeries. I've uh, had tremendous pain in my knee. Been to doctors, had orthopedic surgeons uh, fix the knee. I've had injections, been for physical therapy, and uh, been with pain for quite some time. Couldn't ride a bicycle, couldn't exercise, put on a little weight, and I went to see Dr. Taylor two days ago. Instant relief. We're talking 16 years of pain, one full year of no exercise, which I've missed tremendously. And uh, two days later, I decided uh, to climb these stairs. Couldn't climb three stairs without pain. Would do the good leg, bad leg, up and down the stairs. At the top of the stairs, I'm almost 100 stairs, about to go swimming, I looked back at the stairs and to my disbelief, I thought, no pain. Tremendous relief, I was so grateful. Swam some laps, four different strokes in the pool. I couldn't take four strokes without significant pain. Got out of the pool, walked back down those stairs, and I have not felt this good in probably 16 years. Thank you. Uh, I'm so grateful for how well I feel today.